Hi, my name is Dr. Chris Yonke, and I'm a professor of wildlife ecology at the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point. And I'm going to walk you through how to set up the gut or giving up density experiment that we have at squirrelnut.org. So I'm going to walk you through the, the basic uh, setup and the, the equipment that you'll need uh, to get um, started. And the first thing you'll, you'll need is a GUD uh, data sheet. And so you can download these um, uh, through the course source materials. And uh, each tray is going to need its own sheet, so you'll want to have uh, that available. And then um, a screen. This will be the screen the, to sift the sand. Uh, and then what I suggest for handing out for students is three of these trays. And so these trays are 14 inch trays that you can get through um, a florist um, supply store. And yeah, they're basically just the bottom kind of like a uh, overfill for, for potted plants. Okay. And so um, the reason I, I, I say three is that you can sift into one of them and then you'll have the two trays that you would deploy uh, in the different habitats. So one of the reasons you want to sift the sand first is to get out any large stones. If you buy play sand at uh, you know, a, a store like Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever you have in your area, uh, the play sand will be pretty good, but it's still going to have some, some large stones. Also, if you reuse sand, which you absolutely can do, squirrels and critters kind of tend to kick up stones and get stuff into the sand. So um, basically, this is just something also I picked up at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. It's just a, it's like a screen insert that I broke in two, so I have, I have two of those, so relatively inexpensive. And then you just um, basically will just sift the sand to get out any large seeds. And it goes pretty fast if you've sifted before. And this is three liters of sand. I typically have a bucket uh, that's marked three liters so that I can take that right out of a five gallon bucket and pour that um, right into um, a tray and then I can do the sifting later or you can have a station set up um, and there's a figure that I'll include of what my station looks like um, then it's all ready to go. Okay, now you have a nice three liters of, of clay sand that's pre-sifted. Now you're going to take uh, this is pre-weighed out. This is 10 grams of out-of-the-shell sunflower seeds. Okay, we can talk about other options um, as well. And so again, I have it here. It's nice and dry. It's portable. And so when I go to deploy the tray, um, I can when I'm ready to go. And, and so I would suggest deploying these um, if you're doing squirrels or diurnal animals uh, to deploy them in the morning, say eight o'clock or so. Um, and then pick them up after about seven hours or, or, or so. But just as long as you write down the times on the data sheet, um, you should be good. Okay. So you put the 10 grams into here and then you kind of mix it in. Don't let it just sit on the top, making it a little bit easy for the squirrels that way, aren't you? Um, so you want the squirrels to, to work for it. The idea here is um, that they would have to search for this food. Um, and how long are they willing to stay on this resource um, and search down? Um, and when they stop, what you're going to end up with is a, a mass of seeds that's either 10, which means nothing visited this, or less than 10, and then that's going to be your giving up density. All right, so now we have this and it's ready to deploy. All right, if you can get a trail camera on the seed tray that might give you some verification that there was actually a squirrel on the tray or what else was on the tray.
Um, and again, you'd want that to be in a safe place. This is my backyard. Um, and in my backyard, I've got a large red oak tree. Uh, and so I have a lot of gray squirrels. And I can put one tray near that tree and one tray about 10 feet away from that tree. But I'm interested today in looking for this guy. And so I have a burrow here. And so I have a family of 13 line ground squirrels uh, in my backyard as well. And so I've put the tray close to the burrow of a 13 line and then I'll put one about 10 feet beyond that and try to see if I can get some 13 line ground squirrels on the tray uh, before I get these eastern gray squirrels on the tray. And then I'll leave this out for about seven hours. A lot of us are trying to figure out how to work in this time of coronavirus uh, where students may not be able to come in and pick up the fancy trays and things like that. Maybe they're working from home. Um, and so we have a, um, a slight modification that you can do with just a typical nine inch pie tins. Um, so you're going to have to encourage your students uh, to eat pie. Again, if you have three of them, you can take one of those and poke it full of holes using a, a fine nail. Okay, so again, you want it to resemble about what, what a screen would look like. And so then you would have um, a sifter that you could sift sand with, uh, and then you'd sift it into two um, other trays. So that might look like this. So here I'm just using the sand that I have from before. Now you're not going to be able to fit three liters of sand, uh, so you probably want to have some type of set amount of sand that you that you use. All right. So now we have our tray. Here, that's all nice and sifted and it's sifted even finer than with a screen. Now at this point there's a couple things you can do. Um, the, the weighing of the, of the seed is, is something that you want to do if you're going to be contributing to the national data set. Okay? And so uh, if you have some way to, uh, some scale at home or something that you can use to weigh out 10 grams, um, that would be great. Another option is to to have uh, the 10 grams weighed out somewhere, uh, like at school with a, a lab that everyone can access and that you can clean up. Uh, and then when you sift it all out, put it back in the bag, write the, the date and the tray and, and all of that, just so you know where this is coming from. Keep it dry, then you can go in and um, you can sift it. And then another option, even um, a little bit more low tech and not something that you'd uh, want to share with the national data set is to just get some sunflower seeds in the shell, something that you can count out and count out a hundred of those and mix in a hundred uh, seeds, uh, deploy that for um, a set amount of time and then bring that in, sift them out, count that and the number of seeds left um, is your given. Number. 